Hi, uh, this is uh, Keith from Investment Modes. And today we're going to talk, uh, we're going to round back to talk about this envelope budgeting system called Actual Budget. So uh, I think a couple of months ago, I introduced everyone to this uh, envelope budgeting uh, open source software called Actual Budget. It is a kind of a server client software that you can easily install uh, on your own uh, desktop computer. I think you can install on Mac and uh, Linux as well. And for the Windows, majority of you Windows users, I created a video to show how you can install it on your own computer to get started. Uh, it is a very good way to actually own your data and not be held ransom to a lot of those kind of uh, SaaS services where you need to pay by per uh, uh, per, per month for this and it is kind of it is very like uh, it is very uh, flexible and comprehensive especially to to, to what you need uh, for a system to to actually create uh, uh, an envelope budgeting system so uh, what what you see over here is my uh, actual like uh, account where where I use and I, I've been using it for about two to three months right now and uh, safe to say that I am quite comfortable uh, using this to actually like, not just track my expenses but uh, uh, decide how I, I'm gonna allocate my money uh, on on uh, for this day-to-day -day stuff going forward uh, but but today what I'm gonna talk about is more on the reporting and specifically the lack of reporting currently on the system and but this is not a deal breaker because uh, what you see over here are my trend trend uh, trend transactions uh, probably some of my most uh, recent ones and uh, the nice thing about uh, actual budget is that uh, it allows you to export these transactions and you can actually create some of these filters using some of these filters right to export some of these transactions which means that you can uh, send them to you can open them up in your spreadsheet right and you can do the same kind of visualizations to actually review your transactions in the day in the way that you want and today we I'm gonna show you uh, roughly how to actually do that so that to, to, to get to, to, to get started because if not uh, you think that this is very difficult and then uh, you won't do you won't do it so over here uh, it is like my uh, these are like 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 this is how it looks like in one of the accounts expenses and and businesses you can name some some of these accounts itself so say say for example we want to review my latest transactions which is uh, August transactions so uh, you can come over here right uh, you can see that there is a lot of all these all these are basically all these uh, these items for for these transactions over here and you can specifically control uh, uh, what you what you want to filter so say for example we want something that is I think the transactions that is less than or equals to Let's say I put a certain certain date to it. Uh, you, once I back, press 24, it's like around August. And then I can click apply. Okay. So then I want something that is, I think, starting from, uh, I think is greater than, and then uh, we want something that is in August. So in this way, right, then you can see that my transactions are limited to this range. And with that, right, then we can come over here, these three dots over here, and then click export. Okay. Now, once it's exported, you can see that uh, we have this file over here on uh, my downloads folder, right? Uh, you can see it over here. But, uh, and, okay, I think, I think we can make use of this file. Let's say, let me double click on this one. Uh, I think it, it hung for, wow, okay. So uh, over here, um, let, let us uh, select all and then let's open. So you can see these, these are my transactions that is download, down, downloaded. And these are my categories. This is the amount and this is the date. And this is the account itself. Now, if we have this right, let me just move my face a little bit over. Okay, never mind. Let me move myself all over this way. 
and then we can I think full screen this one. Okay, so we are we can create pivot tables from this, and pivot tables is a way to actually like filter or or, or change the way that this information is arranged in your spreadsheet. So what we do is that we select all these transactions over here. Okay, and then uh, we come over here, insert, right? We can select pivot table and then from table and range itself. So uh, we can usually by default, it will uh, uh, force you to actually uh, create the pivot table in a new worksheet. But I'm gonna, you can also select them in the existing worksheet. Let's say I want to start my pivot table over here. All right. And uh, a very common visualization is that you put your category over in rows and then you can see all the categories over here. And then we can go to uh, this amount over here. Okay. And what you can see is that it shows you for this category how much I spend, which is $15. Essential how much I spend, which is this amount and sometimes some of y'all don't like the negative right what you can do is that once you get this one over here instead of this amount right you can create another column right like say for example over here and then uh, over here right you can just equals negative this all right and then and then you can you can work with this as well let's say you can say this is n amount okay and of course you can change like uh, the data source for, for this, but we're not going to do, do that. Uh, and you can see a breakdown over here. What you can do is that uh, with this one, right, some of you all want to create visualizations. You can come over here, insert, right? And then you can create a pie chart. Let's maximize it. Uh, so as you can see over here, uh, lots of things you, you can do. Uh, you could also let's say you have notes right you can drag in under the categories right and now you see that like what is what is made up of the kind of things that is made out of i think this one you can even filter it becomes an automatic uh, uh, pivot pivot chart and and then it will be quite intuitive like can we minimize it uh yeah uh, play around with it and if you don't like let's say this one you can always drag drag it away so say for example I don't want to see the income right I think what we can do is you can come over here let's say the, the providence is where where it works and then there is a certain claims to it right then uh, for the category let's say I want to filter let's say wait, what's this oh okay I think it's this one Let's say you come over here, I don't want the income, right? Then I can take away uh take away the take away the income and then ah then you you have less thing. So you can actually like like customize it to the way that you want. And I think with these things, right, uh it allows you to review your transactions, something that uh may be a deal breaker for some some of you, but I think uh this this one would make this one quite quite useful and in previous video i show you how to uh, use a you can create your own telegram chatbot to actually uh, send your transactions to a google sheet to record down so that end of the day you won't forget what you actually spend on you can actually put into the actual budget itself so overall i think i think we can make this one work uh, and some more it's free and i think it's something that that you can set up for long term and uh, if, and I think we come to the end of the video. I don't want, should, don't want to talk too, too much. And if you like some of these content, I'm going to talk about actual budget quite a, quite a fair bit uh, over here. But if you like some of my other contents on financial independence, wealth planning, or invest, in investment space kind of stuff, do subscribe to my channel and uh, and and also set uh, leave some 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 comments if let's say you you find that this actual budget is like kind of nifty and useful. Okay, bye bye.